Ken, what's uh, your new uh, coach like so far? What's uh, what do you see the philosophies changing or, or in line? Yeah, he's uh, super passionate. Um, allows us to play our games and have a lot of fun out there. So, you know, we've been really welcoming to him this fall, and um, obviously everything the best to Coach Bachamal, but um, we're happy to have Coach O'Dana here this year. Not a lot of new faces all over this team. Just oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, bringing in a, a bunch of talent from around the country um, and some older talent, right? So we have a lot of leadership, a lot of leadership parts coming in. So it's been really exciting to mesh with those guys this fall, and uh, we're looking forward to the season. Have you guys talked about big team collective goals so far this season? Or yeah. Up? Yeah. Um, you know, our standard this year is the championship standard. Um, we, we would like to win the national championship. So every single day doing the little things, um, cleaning the locker room, make, yeah. making sure everything's tight so that we go on the field, little things are already done and prepared. Anybody else for Caden? Uh, just fall ball in general. How has it gone? Yeah. General takeaways from it. Yeah, um, obviously a lot of meshing, right? Uh, a couple transfers from around the country, like I said, and um, it's been a lot of fun though. Uh, Coach Odierna has brought a great energy to practice, and then returning Coach March and Coach Gate has been awesome. So we're we're really looking forward to the season, and the young guys have been a blast to play with as well. You mentioned a lot of little things that have to add up to that. Were they little things you weren't doing before, or just putting more emphasis? I, th I think on just it putting or? more emphasis on it, um, paying attention to it a little bit more, so that when the big challenges do come, that everything's already taken care of. Did, was this like a player initiative? Is this coming from Coach Gate? Yeah, I, I would say it's a little bit of both, right? Mm -hmm. um, Coach Gate does give us the tools to um, build and in, in like team stuff, uh, like leadership stuff. With um, what's the gentleman's name? The uh, sports like yeah. Uh, Dr. Dr. Shelley. Shelley, thank yeah. you. Yeah, so uh, we brought in a sports psychologist who helps us with team building, um, and he's been great. But besides that, we've been holding each other accountable outside of those sessions, which has been awesome to see. What do you think is the biggest thing that the psychologist has brought to the team? That's a first year thing? Uh, it's second year, second year coming. So this year, I think it's just more development, right? So we, we got the, the trial run last year, and then now this year, um, you know, we're taking a full swing at it, and everyone's bought in, and we're really excited to move forward with it. What is it about uh, Swings that made you want to come here? Uh, I think it's just the historic, uh, like the legendary program, you know, like history of championships, like Kaden touched on the championship standard, um, something we had at Tufts and something that I really wanted to keep going in, the, in my next stage of my career, so. What do you think are the big things you can, you can bring to this team? I mean, for me, obviously, as a face-off guy, like getting the ball for the team, I know that was a challenge last year, and it's something I'm really excited to help um, fix this year, I guess. Uh, the guys have shown a lot of improvement from last season. The new guys we brought in are really solid, so just exciting to help get the ball a little more for the guys. You're one of many new faces on this team. Like, how do you guys come together? Are you doing things off the field, too? Or how do you build that chemistry? Yeah, no, there's eight grad transfers. Um, and Four of us live together and the other four live in another apartment. We've been spending a lot of time off the field together, in um, the locker room, stuff like that. But the fifth year is existing, the seniors exist, like everyone on the team has been really good about taking us in, a lot of team bonding activities, things like that. So definitely gelling on and off the field with both the other grad transfers and also just everyone on the team. What was Coach Gates kind of pitch to you to come here? Did, uh, he, did he come after you hard or did you pursue Syracuse? What was kind of the, the relationship there? Uh, he actually, funny story, uh, he told his younger sister was coaching my sister and I found out about it through her first and then he called me on the way to a game last year at Tufts um, and then just throughout the recruiting process just kind of touched on the fact that um, I have as a face-off guy I have an opportunity to like really help and uh, help the team get the ball more just because that was a big area of need for them and the opportunity to help take a team with a lot of talent um, to the next level and really compete for a championship. How would you describe the Syracuse team that you walked into? What do you think the culture is like here? The culture is great. It's uh, everyone's really focused on achieving our ultimate goal, which is winning the national championship. Um, and I think everyone's really bought into the little things and also the bigger things that go into that, like small things like cleaning the locker room, um, like keeping the field nice, like staying after, making sure everything's a championship standard, like in the small ways and also in the big ways, like offense has to be gelling, defense has to be gelling, people have to pick up the ball. So. For you as a face-off guy, kind of like an individual game within a team game there, yeah. do you utilize the psychologist at all? Is that something that interests you? Definitely. I, I actually studied cognitive and brain science at Tufts, and that was, it's always been a personal interest beyond uh, sports, but something really useful within sports as well, like mindfulness, being able to have soft focus is really important in the period between set and the whistle. So um, I've really dove into that 
in my personal life and I think it's been really helpful. How's the adjustment been coming to Syracuse? Oh, it's been great. Um, uh, Tufts is a really small school, so coming to a bigger school was a little bit overwhelming, but um, the guys have been really great showing me around, showing me campus. Living with guys is really helpful too, and I think having been through college before makes it pretty easy. So they have it really dialed for us, and it's definitely the ACC level of services and resources is a lot bigger than at the Division three level, so it's uh, it's been really easy. And then to be the new guy, but also have the experience of being a little bit older on the team, mm -hmm. um, you know, how has that been for you? It's been great. I think for me it's like a combination of just trying to learn from the guys and also bring what I know. Um, they have been really instrumental in teaching me parts of the game and things that how things work at this level. Um, but I think I've been able to bring in, like, I played a national championship. I lost a national championship last year. It's something I think about every day. So bringing that perspective and the urgency is something I try to do every day. So. Christian, there was a Lehigh transfer here last year that did pretty well, and Cole Curse. Did, did you know Cole? Do you guys have a relationship? Or? Yeah, so me and Cole played together for three years. Um, when I was a freshman, he was a sophomore at Lehigh. Um, one of my really close friends, um, we had a great relationship. We played attack together, um, and he was definitely <clears throat> a big decision why I came here, getting to speak to him a bunch on the phone about it um, over the summer and during my decision-making process. Uh, one of the best teammates I've ever played with, just such a great guy, um, just loves the game of lacrosse, and uh, I was happy to be able to be his teammate and, and play from him and learn from him. What's a big thing he told you about coming to Syracuse that, that excited <clears throat> you? Um, Cole's just a big lacrosse rat. Um, he, <laughs> he loves lacrosse a lot, and and I think for him it was being able to play at, he calls it the mecca of lacrosse here at Syracuse. Um, so that was uh, one of the big takeaways I took from him, just getting to play on the highest level here at Syracuse um, was definitely big. What do you think is the biggest thing you can bring to the table? Um, I think a bunch of things. When Coach March recruited me, obviously, um, I was known for my assist making this year, being there in the country, and I think um, I could try to help out in many ways, whether that's goal scoring or assist or just being a leader as a fifth year. Um, and I think any of those roles that the team needs me to do, that I could fill that because um, winning is the most important for me. I asked Mason this too, but you know, there's a lot of new faces on this team generally, so what are you guys kind of doing to get the chemistry both on and off the field? Yeah, so I, I actually played with Joey for a while. We're both from Long Island, um, and the inside of the cross reporter was here the other week, and he asked me a similar question, and it's been a little different playing with Canadians. Um, it's the first time I've really played with a big group of them like that, but they're super talented and um, just getting to mesh with them and learn their tendencies as well as the other attackmen has, has been big, but it's been great this, this fall so far. And your transition from Lehigh to here, um, you know, how has that been for you? Yeah, it's, it's been definitely different. I mean, Lehigh's a smaller school. Um, I loved my time there, I loved my four years, but was just ready for a change. I think. Um, getting the opportunity to do a fifth year because of COVID um, was a blessing in disguise for me, and it's been so great here. I think that the coaching styles are definitely a little bit different. Um, coach Cassis at Lehigh, who's now at Virginia, was an awesome coach, um, and I think that he was a little bit more of an old school guy, and it's definitely more laid back here, um, which is great as well. You always mentioned that there's a sports psychologist here. I just want to know, especially as a transfer and whatnot, what you could say about the mental component of this game and this year. Yeah, I think that I actually didn't wasn't able to make it for the first time that we had the doctor here, but um, we did something similar to it at Lehigh, and it was cool. He came in every couple of weeks and um, kind of sat down with us and it let us clear our mind, and we also had the opportunity to meet with him um, individually. And I. I think it just gives you a break from lacrosse and from school um, and the social aspect of it and just kind of lets you clear your mind, which is huge for the game. Final questions. Just how fun is it playing with this group of guys? I mean, there's a lot of talent that's returning from last year, and like you talked about, getting to play with Canadians for the first time as well. Yeah, it, it's honestly been so fun um, playing with such talented guys. I think it just makes you better and pushes you every day. So it, it's been awesome, and I've honestly, they're so creative in how they play, and it's um, kind of led me to, to try to learn from them a little bit and start to put that into my game a little as well. Great. Thank, Thank you. You. Uh, you have been a transfer and know what that process is like. There's a lot of transfers on this team. How do you kind of see that acclimation going so far with the new guys? 
Yeah, I think first and foremost, I'm just so blessed to have, you know, another year on top of the year that I had last year. I know there's a lot of fifth-year transfers, so I couldn't be happier with my decision to, to take the two years instead of just the grad transfer year. Um, and then the second thing is just to, to kind of show them the ropes as much as possible. Um, I was lucky enough where um, I had guys kind of showing me how things worked around here right when I got here, and so making sure that I'm that voice for them um, was one of you know, the key things for me for those transfers. But, I mean, they're all extremely mature and kind of developed players and, and humans, and so there wasn't too much guiding needed with those guys, which is also an awesome thing too. So it's just, yeah, it's been an all-around great experience for, for all of us. What's the philosophy that Coach Odermi has trained to put in defensively? How is that different maybe from Coach Bacon? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the biggest thing that he's done for us is just given us the keys to kind of make decisions and react. Um, I think in our past defenses, um, it was kind of, you know, a plan that needed to be followed. If this happened, you know, this happens. Um, and that kind of causes a lot of confusion um, and miscommunication. And so I think the fact that, you know, we're given the principles, we're given the keys, we're given the standards, and then he allows, you know, the talented players that we have to kind of make the decisions um, and react to the game as it goes um, is just a much more effective way of playing defense. Um, and you can see it in our play throughout the fall ball. How much has a, a healthy Riley made a difference out there defensively for you guys? Yeah, I mean, I'm just so excited that he, he finally gets to get out there. He's, you know, first of all, an awesome young man, extremely hardworking, um, and just an extremely talented lacrosse player. So the fact that he can, you know, compete with us on a daily basis is, is amazing. I know it was tough for him kind of being on the sidelines um, last year, but, you know, I think it's, uh, it was also a special opportunity where he had the chance to kind of grow as, as a person, as a player, um, and he fully took advantage of that. And, you know, he came back bigger, stronger, faster, mentally, physically, um, and you can see that in his game. Just generally in ball ball, how do you see the team meshing so far? Yeah, it's been, I mean, we have more depth than I've ever had um, on a team ever. Um, and so it's just constant competition every um, <clears throat> day in and day out. Um, and I think the key too is just, you know, our coaches putting the puzzles uh, or the pieces in the right, kind of the right place when we play. Um, and so kind of seeing how that plays out, you know, day in and day out is, it's been really interesting. And so, like I said, extremely, extremely deep team and extremely talented. I'm really interested by this idea of the sports psychologist, especially for someone like you who's sort of playing an individual position. Um, is, that, is that something that you utilize? And, and how do you think that, that that helps, that mental aspect? Yeah, I mean, it's probably the most important part about being a successful goalie is kind of having a grasp on the kind of the mental side of the game. And it's, you know, something that I take extremely seriously and think about every day. Um, and kind of going into this year, thinking about, you know, what's the next step I can take to kind of improve myself as, you know, a player and a person. It, it was that, you know, kind of the mental aspect and that sports psychology aspect um, for sure. And so, you know, me kind of learning more about meditation and mindfulness, taking classes, um, and just like I said, taking it very seriously on a daily basis has, you know, shown in my play and then also as a person the way, you know, I handle different situations and, you know, academically and, yeah, it's just been, yeah, monumental to, to my game. A couple other guys mentioned, you know, not being shy and chasing a championship. Yeah. And, uh, mentioned a lot of little things have to kind of build up for that to happen. What are, what are some of those little things in your past? Uh, the biggest thing is, you know, Coach O said this to us, or to me, about a couple weeks ago, and it's, you know, what are we doing differently than last year? Obviously, we had our record, and, you know, we worked hard, but, you know, what are we going to do on a daily basis that's different from last year that's going to take us to that next level? Um, so whether that be extra work, whether that be getting to know Coach O and, you know, talking to them, whether that be, you know, going out to dinner with your teammates, you know, what little things on a daily basis are we doing that's going to take us to the next level in the end? And then just taking advantage of every day. It goes by so fast. Um, and I've noticed it more than ever with it, you know, being my last year. Um, it's just taking advantage of every second, every minute that we have together as a team. And then, you know, on our own, what am I doing um, personally to help my team become better? Along those lines, like, is a typical practice this year different with Coach Oderna at all compared to last year? Yeah, I mean, we're definitely practicing shorter, but that doesn't mean we're, we're not practicing as hard. Um, and then it's just, uh, it's a different kind of energy. Everyone's a little bit more excited. Um, I think some players were kind of unlocked almost um, and playing a, a little bit more free, uh, which is really cool to see as, you know, an older guy, these, you know, younger guys kind of growing into their own and, you know, kind of crafting their, their game. And it's, yeah, it's just been, been awesome to see kind of everyone play free and, and open and, you know, really gelling together, so.